Hey guys, this is Reggie with Stock Talk. I am doing a technical analysis breakdown on Plug Power, which has been representing the last few days. Uh, and uh, we all made uh, some, some really good money on that. And uh, this, this is one of those, those stocks you should have been holding back in the NIO days. You know, this is, you know if, you, if, you, if you're playing EVs, this definitely should have been on your radar. Um, Plug Power has been around for a while. Uh, this is no uh, startup. It, it's been a while for a while. I mean, do your due diligence. I, I trade based off of chart patterns and technical analysis. Uh, so obviously do your own due diligence. But Plug Power has been running, man. It's been, look at this, it's all-time high was almost $1,600. And this was back when? In January of 2000, IPO. Yeah, look at that. Three, like four days into IPO. No, oh, four months to the IPO. This is a monthly chart. Uh, yeah, so I went through, I took the liberty of drawing some trend lines from, from previous history. So that's nice about having uh, trading, you know, the technical analysis on stocks that's been, uh, that has history that's been run, that's been up before. And so it's nice to see that reference point now of history. So plug power has been on a tear. And from history, these are our next points of resistance. $61, $75, and then $98. All that makes sense because you know, a whole dollar mark, especially at 98. Um, I can see it, you know, that's 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 always tough to climb uh for any stock. That's when most people sell. Um so anyway, because it's, it's, it's an obvious benchmark. So plug power has been on a tear. Let's go to the daily chart. And it's way outside. So this is, I use Bollinger Bands, RSI, and MACD indicators. And it's way outside the Bollinger Band, way outside. And the Bollinger Band is, is moving averages, right? So it kind of averages the prices from different time frames, 20-day, you know, different time frames. So it's way outside the Bollinger Band. And usually stocks, I don't, you can pull up any stock and add a Bollinger Bear indicator. And most of the time it trades within the moving average, right? So it's creating new averages now and, 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 and pushing them. But at some point it has to come back in, right? Or either the Bollinger Bear has to catch up. But typically I like it to have it somewhere close to this red line, right? The 20-day moving average. Uh, but it is on a tear right now. And so at some point it's going to come back down. So it'll either come back down. Move sideways, cause side for a while, give all the give the averages time to catch up, uh, and then make another run back up. But you see, it's been you know it's, it's outside of Bollinger Band, skipped up. We got a gap here, so all the all the things that scream, you know, don't take a new position, <laughs> right? Because this is one of those things you take a new position and it tanks, or whatever, but or, or retraces. But if you look at the indicators, RSI, right? Not even in, in the overbought territory yet, and we're way. Look at this. We're way up here. And I see a lot of stocks like that now because it's January, volume is back, people are starting to, you know, they got stimulus check. We got a lot going on, new presidents and all that stuff. So we got a lot of stuff going on. RSI is saying we still have room to run, right? Because it's open. The blue line is above the red line. It hasn't breached this uh 80 uh, 80 point line yet. MACD indicator. Look at that. Recently crossed. And to the moon, right? And so, according to the RSI and the MACD, we still got plenty. Empire is going to breach 60 and keep moving, according to these indicators. But according to how things usually are, <laughs> which this isn't a, 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 how things usually are market, it by, by no means, uh, stocks typically don't hang outside the Bollinger Band this, this long, that long. This is a daily chart. And they, they just don't hang out that, that let's let's see what the weekly looks like. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Just, you know, just a monster movement. Look at that candlestick. That is a softball bat, right? Look at that, it's crazy. And so yeah, so we got three boom. See, so it kind of crossed it. Now it's just sitting outside the, the Bollinger band. And then we got earnings coming up. March 11th. So a little while for that. A little while for that. So, all right, so technical analysis on plug power. Plug power is a mover to the news. Oh, they had a, a huge investment. And so the news helped. And, and, and with the, so you got a combination of the news headline and the market, right? So, because news headlines don't last long. You know, you're going to move off a news headline and, it, you know, it gaps up and then it does what it usually does.
But you got the marks. I think without that news headline, it still would have did this. So plug power, our next line, our next our next direction is $61. Uh in post market, it's already up. It's already up two dollars already in post market. And so our next goal for plug expectation price target is $61. Uh, $61 you might see a move down uh, or something crazy happen Monday. Then our resistance here, I mean, our support will have to be the top of this candlestick. It'll have to be, let me see if I can find the other support lines. So we have this, we have, yeah, or possibly this red line. So possibly you could sit like on Monday, be sitting here. And it looks like that's kind of where we're at right now in pre-market, post-market, sitting at 55. So on Monday, we may be sitting at 55 pre-market. Uh, if it holds, it'll stay up. If it stays above 55.50, we're heading to $61 on plug. If, if pre-market is below this red line and we're back here at 53, I've got a feeling we're going to see a sideways movement or we're going to, it's going to be a sell-off. So it depends on market conditions, but according to these indicators, according to resistance, post-market we're sitting, plug is heading back north. And this is a good long stock. But I wouldn't at these levels, even with even if you think we hit 61, at these levels, I would buy in slow. If you're not already in, I mean you could hold, but I would buy in slow. Because at these levels, it's scary. Like I almost I almost never want to buy anything that's uh, that blows out of the Bollinger Band this way. But a lot of stocks looks looks just like this today. So Volume rules, man. Look at these two. This is volume right here. Look at these two bars. This monsters. Two monsters. There's no stopping that type of volume. So it, it defies common logic. Uh, and I always say in all my videos, no matter what the, the technical shows, no matter what these indicators shows, volume will overcome everything. So these things will say sell, sell, sell. But for some reason, people come in and start buying. That that would that's what determines the price. That's what moves the price at the end of the day. All, uh, everything else is just you know determinators. You know they kind of determine indicators stuff like that. But anyway, plug power for the win Monday sixty one dollars. I'm, I'm I'm feeling uh, based off what we see. Unless there's some sort of bad news this weekend or this 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 some sort of turnaround. But I think Monday looks like maybe an update based off the overall market. Uh, but if it does retrace back at some point, it's got to pull back. And come back to reality is people got people are going to take profit. I mean, you know, you're going to see big run ups in your account because it's not real until you actually sell, right? So if you you could have bought way back here and be up here, it's pretty to see the numbers all green in your account, but it's not yours until you actually sell. <laughs> so that's why we see sell offs, right? Because people take profits. All right, this is Reggie uh, with Stock Talk. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer your questions back. If you have a stock that we look at, let me know. This is Reggie. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man, so you can get these little gems that I drop. Uh, I, I do technical analysis, and I search chart patterns all day, every day. So when I find a gem, I do list it. And so you can find, so you can be informed of those gems. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notifications. All right, see ya.